Most of you guys that have watched my video about the cyclist approaching the roundabout and then cut across by the Land Rover driver have agreed that the cyclist had priority on the roundabout and that the Land Rover should not have entered the roundabout, all of which is fairly reassuring. There has, however, been some disagreement within the comments section, so I thought I would address the highway code directly and the rules that have been sort of interjected and the hierarchy between road users that's been reinforced earlier last year, which I commented upon in my videos. Just to make this absolutely clear that when the cyclist is on the roundabout, the cyclist has the priority over other road users. So if I take you to the highway code rules, I'm specifically looking at rule 186 and specifically the last two paragraphs of rule 186, which provide as follows. You should give priority to cyclists on the roundabout. Now I'm going to come back to the word should in just a moment because lots of people take issue with the word should, so I will address that and I will come back to it. They will be traveling more slowly than motorized traffic. Give them plenty of room and do not attempt to overtake them within their lane. Allow them to move across your path as they travel across the roundabout. So these are the words that really crystallize most, if not all, of the confusion about whether or not the cyclist was cr cutting across someone else's path, across lanes and so on. Now, strictly speaking, yes, the cyclist ought to be in the one lane and stay in the one lane if possible, but that's not always the case, as will become clear when I look for the rules for cyclists. But again, I will park that and come back to it in a moment. No pun intended. So just to reiterate that point again, allow them to move across your path as they travel across the roundabout. It goes on. Cyclists, horse riders and horse-drawn vehicles may stay in the left-hand lane when they intend to continue across or around the roundabout and should signal right to show you that they're not leaving the roundabout. Now, of course, we can't see whether the cyclist was indicating right or not. But again, it's a should and the word should I will come back to in a moment. Drivers should take extra care when entering a roundabout to ensure that they do not cut across cyclists horse riders or horse-drawn vehicles in the left-hand lane who are continuing around the roundabout. Now, of course, it would be better if the cyclist did not cut across different lanes, but these rules are absolutely clear that the vehicle should give priority to cyclists on the roundabout. That is the precise wording of this rule within the highway code. You should give priority to cyclists on the roundabout. When it comes to the rules for cyclists and road junctions and roundabouts, roundabouts only really deal with going straight ahead. It does say if you are going straight ahead at a junction, you have priority over traffic waiting to turn into or out of the side road unless road signs or markings indicate otherwise. It then does say full details about the correct procedure at roundabouts without cycle facilities are contained in rules 184 to 190. Watch out for vehicles crossing your path to leave or join the roundabout, remembering that drivers may not easily see you. Now, I don't see that as an argument in the video that I presented because it ought to be clear that the cyclist was very much, very decisively on the roundabout. So moving back to the rules for roundabouts, we move on to rule 187, which is of course intended for all road users, but in particular motorized vehicles that should give priority to cyclists, especially on the roundabout. Rule 187 provides in all cases, watch out for and give plenty of room to pedestrians, traffic crossing in front of you on the roundabout, especially vehicles intending to leave by the next exit traffic which may be straddling lanes or positioned incorrectly. So this sort of clarifies and clears up whether or not the cyclist is straddling lanes or positioned incorrectly between those lanes. The vehicles approaching that junction that should remember be giving priority to the cyclists that are on the junction, in all cases, watch out for and give plenty of room to traffic which may be straddling the lanes or positioned incorrectly including cyclists. So as I said, and in summary, it would have been better on a strict argument that the cyclist stuck to one lane as opposed to cut across more than one lane. But rule 187 makes it clear that in all cases, watch out for and give plenty of room to traffic which may be straddling lanes or positioned incorrectly. And as a vehicle approaching that roundabout, the vehicle should stop 
and not enter the roundabout if it's not safe to do so. Now, coming back to the word should, lots of people say it's only a should and not a must or must not. However, the highway code rules are used to determine liability in incidents such as this. If there's a collision, there'll be an analysis undertaken and arguments made and a judge making a ruling as to whether or not drivers were complying with the rules of the road, regardless of whether they say should, must, must not, or whatever. And also taking into account lane markings, sign markings, other give way markings, and the type of junction at play at that given moment. In this case, it's a roundabout with a cyclist and a vehicle. And the hierarchy here is that the vehicle should be giving way to the cyclists. So as I said, no situation is absolutely perfect, but this situation is actually relatively clear in my opinion. And in my opinion, that's ultimately what a court would say as well. So I hope you found that interesting and that it clarified things. Please do remember to like the video and subscribe and I'll see you next time.